Evaluating facts for Sabir Bhatia's post on X about India's GDP growth and poverty situation. So Sabir India has made remarkable progress in reducing poverty in recent years. According to recent World Bank data and other reports, the numbers vary depending on the poverty line used, but all show a significant decline. Here's a summary. Extreme poverty, using a stricter $3 per day benchmark, 2021 PPP, about 269 million people escaped extreme poverty between 2011 to 12 and 2022 to 23. The extreme poverty rate dropped from 27.1% to 5.3% in this period. Extreme poverty, using the previous $2.15 per day benchmark, 2017 PPP, around 172 million people rose above this threshold in the same period, with the proportion falling from 16.2% to 2.3%. Lower middle income country poverty line, $4.20 per day. The number of people below this line reduced from 732 million to 342 million, meaning over 390 million people moved above this threshold in 11 years. Multidimensional Poverty Index. A NITI IOG paper with inputs from OFI and UNDP states that 248 million people escaped multidimensional poverty between 2013 to 14 and 2022 to 23. The multidimensional poverty rate decreased from 29% to 11%. A recent projection for 2024 by State Bank of India. India's extreme poverty rate was projected to fall to 4.6% in 2024, mathematically. To estimate the current number of people under extreme poverty, we use the latest rate and population data. India's population is estimated to reach 1.46 billion in 2025, according to a new UN report using SBI's projection of 4.6% and the UN's population estimate for mid-2025, 1.46 billion, 0.046 times 1 billion 460 million equals 67 million people. Therefore, it's estimated that around 67 to 75 million people in India are living under extreme poverty, depending on the poverty line and projection used. This is a significant achievement in poverty reduction for the country. So, Mr. Sabir Bhatia, please get your figures correct and be ashamed at yourself.